Good morning, everybody. We're here at the Oak Mulgee District of the Talladega National Forest. It's just about sunrise. Um, pretty cold out today. I think it was 32 when I got out of my car. We're here to look mainly for red cockaded woodpeckers, but we're hoping to see some other stuff, maybe some warblers, maybe some other woodpeckers. But uh, stuff should just be waking up and let's uh, see what we can see. Looks like there was just recently a uh, controlled burn here. Controlled burns are really important for these uh, endangered longleaf pine forests. Uh, it helps them compete with other plants in the area and it's really important for species like the red cockheaded woodpecker that like a open understory. And I'm just starting to hear birds so uh, let's get on it. As you can see these longleaf pines barely get charred at all during these controlled burns. That is because their bark is what's called pyrophetic which means they're resistant to fire. However when they die and their bark falls off they get charred like most of the rest and then they fall making room for new trees to grow. Here we have a man-made nest box for the red cockaded woodpecker. This bird is endangered here in Alabama, so there's a lot of conservation efforts to help bring back its population. They nest mostly here in these uh, longleaf pine forests, and it's kind of easy to see because the trees leak a very thick white sap, which kind of looks like candle wax. So we're just waiting to uh, see if one makes an appearance gonna be hard to see but I believe in this woodpecker nest there's a flying squirrel which is pretty cool haven't seen one of those before well I've been here for about two hours now and I've seen stuff but haven't been able to get many shots so I'm gonna try one more spot in the area and then if that doesn't work out I'll move along and try something new. The wind in Alabama is no joke. Alright, way out on this tree here we got a red cockaded woodpecker. I don't think it's going to be a great shot, but it doesn't hurt to try it. Oh, there it goes. We got one in this tree here too. Moved over to this tree. You can hear them pecking, and every once in a while, a piece of bark will fall down. They rip the bark off a little bit to get uh, insects underneath. Oh, there one goes. Both of them went. All right. Let's try that again. All right. You got a better look at it there. Not a great shot still, but it's something. Well, all right, I got a few shots. I don't think any of them are great, but I don't want to disturb them too much because there are nests in the area. I think I'm gonna look around and see if there's any other place nearby to try out, see if we can find some other species. All right, guys, we're here at the Cahaba today. It's been a few days since we were at the Oak Mulgee District. Uh, it's been slow, but it's warm out today finally. It's going to be in the mid to upper 70s. So hopefully we can see some turtles while we're here. Uh, sounds pretty birdy out. We already got some water thrushes and some northern perulos. That's a water thrush you're hearing right now. Um, should be a good day.
let's see what we can see. All right, we got ourselves an early migrant here, a Louisiana water thrush. Uh, he's singing pretty loudly. You can probably hear him. We got a northern pearl right here. Not the best spot. It's good to see them for the year. There we go. That's him calling. He's pointing his butt at me now, though. All right, guys, down here we have, I think it looks like a male Alabama map turtle. Let me get him right through these reeds here. Here we got a yellow throated warbler. Not the best angle, but it's kind of cool. Here's a bit of a better angle on him. We got him singing. Got a nice pretty river cooter right here in the water. Just rolled up on this eastern fence lizard. Kind of cute peeking out over the rock like this. All right. I got past him and he didn't run, so I'm gonna try to get another angle. They're very skittish here, so I'm gonna be quiet. Oh, there they all go. One of those is a map turtle. Try to get a better shot of him. Let's look. I think that's a big map turtle too. A female and a male right next to each other. That's cool. Stick out of the way. Very nice. You can see the female on the right is much bigger than the male on the left. and we got a white-eyed vireo right close up. Oh, just took off. All right, we got a white-eyed vireo again. Oh, he doesn't want to stay still. Come on, guy. Got him out on the end of a branch now. Nice. I'm so glad these guys are back. I've been getting bored with stuff lately. All right, in this bramble right here, we have a race runner. It's gonna be hard to see and probably hard to photograph, but we're gonna give it a shot. Kind of neat. Got a parola right here in this, in this bush. Oh, 
very nice. All right, we got two big river cooters out in the middle of the river. Let's see. Another warbler, black and white. Where'd he go? There he is. I like these guys a lot. Come on out. A lot of butterflies coming into these flowers here. Hoping one comes a little closer. That one actually looks pretty nice still though. A lot of them. Blue gray gnat catcher. Oh, he's hopping around. He's gone. Here's the blue gray gnat catcher again. Oh, they're so skittish. Hopefully that came out good. We got a mud or a musk turtle here. It's hard to tell without being able to see the belly. You don't see them out basking that often, so this is cool. Let's see if I can't sneak up a little more, but he'll probably dive. All right, I'm like way out in the open and he just doesn't care. Very neat. I'm guessing this is probably a a musk turtle, because I don't think mud turtles like uh, water that moves this much. A little, I think it's a five line skink right here. And I see a bright blue tail. Here's a really close up female map turtle. She got a little friend. Got another male female pair of Alabama maps. All right, everyone, unless I see anything cool on the way out, I think that's gonna wrap up this first FPV photography video. Uh, hope, hopefully you like it. Uh, let me know down below in the comments, and if you do, please like and subscribe. Thanks very much.